you might be one of those people that actually needs to uh, propose and put in a uh, workshop or a, an activity in the PDC system. So there's a, there's a process to make this happen. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Special tab, hover over that and look for In District. It should be the only choice. And you're going to come over to Propose. So this is, again, for those people in district who are proposing a workshop or a um, activity for uh, other peers to attend to learn about so they can receive some hours towards their certification. So you'll notice once you get on the screen there is a green plus sign. Go ahead and select that. I'm going to say um, BHS um, Paraprofessional Training with Smart Board. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that I did indicate BHS at the beginning. Uh, this is helpful. Uh, as you can imagine, there's a lot of us in the district that log into the system to try to find things that are appropriate. Uh, and so by indicating the school that this is for uh, will just be helpful for others when they're looking for your activity to sign up. Uh, so then I'm going to hit the Save Changes button. All right, once that's done, uh, then I need to come in and choose the edit or select the edit button. And this will actually um, think of this as like a paper document that you would have had to turn into the um, SAU office to get approval to run it. Um, so estimated CUs in this case is going to be 0.5 because I'm only doing a half, um, half hour training. Objectives uh, will be and sometimes if you use Chrome, it doesn't let you type the first time. All right, there we go. So BHS professionals. And just give me one second. All right, okay. So now I'm going to hit save. And I can go in as many times as I need to there. Maximum seats, um, go ahead and give a number. Uh, choose the school that it's for. Uh, this is a workshop. Then I'm going to come down and just keep filling in the information. Um, the school, the room that it's going to be held in. Uh, equipment, if you need to indicate equipment that you would need. Um, but I'm not going to do that. In this case, I'm going to say technology. Uh, if it's for a specific cause, maybe it's um, mathematics or maybe it's science, uh, that's where you would indicate uh, the endorsement area. But in my case, it's uh, technology, con um, not conference, but activity. Presenter, put my name, my email address. Uh, then I don't have any speaker fees or materials. Then I'm going to come down to the session. Number one session, I'm going to select the date that I'm going to run this on and the start and end time. Okay. You do have to indicate AM, PM on this step. And then you hit save changes. Now you do have the ability to add another time. Uh, so there are some instances where it might be like part one of two or or something like that. I would not recommend you connecting um, connecting them uh, for many reasons. Not everyone attends all of them. Um, there's confusion as to what uh, uh, someone has signed up for and hasn't signed up for. So I would encourage that um, if you are running a multiple session uh, workshop that you do them individually. Okay, And so once I've indicated everything on here, then I'm going to come in and hit the validate button. Now even though I've hit the validate button, uh, I really have not notified anyone that I am going to be offering this. Uh, so I need to actually hit the process button. And what this does is this will go to the SAU office uh, for approval. Uh, once they've approved it, then it will actually show up on the in-district workshop uh, list. And you can let the people that are going to attend your workshop that they can actually uh, sign up, enroll, so that they can get the hours.